Hi guys, Gaz here. How you doing? Well, after all the anticipation and all the hype, Battlefield 6, or rather, Battlefield 2042, has finally been revealed. Does it, however, tell us anything we didn't already know from all the leaks? Let's dive in then and see what we've got to look forward to. First off the bat then, I just hope that the ESRB rating is like Battlefield 5, which was uh, 17 plus mature, and there's plenty of blood and gore in it. Confirm then that this is uh, futuristic modern warfare set in 2042. The world in 2042 then is on the brink of complete devastation. Food, energy and water shortages have led to the greatest refugee crisis in human history. Among these refugees are the non-patriated, uh, also known as the no, the no-pats, made up of families, farmers, engineers and soldiers who have been left without a nation to call their own. Players will take on the role of one of these non-pat specialists and join either the United States or Russia, the last two remaining superpowers, battling for the world's last resources. EA and DICE have confirmed that um, there's going to be three multiplayer experiences um, but I'm afraid sorely there's not going to be a Battlefield Battle Royale um, so that could be uh, a good or bad thing but um, we will shall see. The first of these multiplayer experiences is called All Out War which is described as the next generation of the conquest and breakthrough modes we have seen in the series before. This mode features huge 128 player maps on PC, PS5 and Xbox Series X, while PS4 and Xbox One players will have 64 player versions of these maps, which have been scaled down for the last gen consoles. For those new to the uh, franchise then, conquest mode is the classic all out war experience and we'll see players fighting over a massive space. Whilst Breakthrough uh, is a more guided experience, uh, this mode sees one side attacking and the other defending in an attempt to capture areas and we'll see both sides coming head to head in massive clashes. Not sure if I'm a fan of this uh, other offering which uh, allows players to experience the multiplayer against um, AI um, and um, or potentially a mix of real life and AI players. Um, these uh, AI players will reportedly scale based on a player's skill. Um, as I say, I'm not a great fan of that. I much prefer playing real people. The leak suggesting that the uh, game is going to be in Eurasia seems to be uh, correct. All Out War will launch with seven maps, the first of which is called Kaleidoscope, which is set in Sogdu in South Korea. Then there's Manifest, set in um, Singapore. Uh, then there's Orbital set in the French uh, Guana. Uh, then we have uh, Discarded, which is in Alang, India. Uh, and then we've got East, uh, Renewal, which is in the Eastern Desert of Egypt. Hourglass, set in Doha, Quetar. And Breakaway, set in the Queen Maudland, Antarctica. And that is going to be the Battlefield 2042's largest map, 5.9 kilometres square. In addition to All Out War, there will be two other multiplayer experiences. Uh, Hazard Zone, an all-new high-stakes squad-based game type for the Battlefield franchise. And uh, DICE have basically emphasised that this is not Battle Royale. Instead, it's apparently a modern take on the multiplayer experience, but very different from All Out Warfare's Conquest or Breakthrough. Uh, the third multiplayer experience is set to be announced at EA Play on July the 22nd. Uh, this experience is being developed by DICE LA and will be another completely new mode for the franchise. Uh, EA DICE has called this third experience a love letter to Battlefield fans and one that long-time players will feel right at home with. Can't wait for that. Maps have uh, dynamic weather which will see players avoiding or even using the likes of tornadoes and sandstorms. Other features include destructible environments and terrain, ground deformation and uh, levolution, 
while there will also be uh, smaller ways to interact with the world, uh, including raising or lowering bollards and bridges uh, to prevent vehicles from passing. As I mentioned earlier, players will take on the role of specialists in Battlefield 2042, uh, soldiers basically with their own unique special trait and speciality, but with fully customizable, customizable loadouts so they can use any weapon. Uh, specialists have been inspired by the traditional four battlefield classes, Recon, Support, Assault and Medic. Um, the game will actually launch with ten specialists. Oh no, this is going to be good. Players can also um, basically change their weapon configuration on the go um, because of a new system that um, has been put in place called the Plus System, which allows you to change your scope, under type, barrel and ammo on the move. Um, players will also have the access to a wingsuit so they can glide off tall structures in maps. Vehicles will continue to play a big role in the game, um, but in this particular series they can, they can be requested at any time to any location. Sounds pretty good. We will see a uh, battle pass for each season uh, and that will include a free and premium tier. Uh, though the premium tier will apparently only offer cosmetic items, but never maps. 2042 is set to have four seasons in its first year, with four new specialists uh, to be introduced as well as new locations. There will be a um, technical playtest in July for those who have been identified as uh, series veterans. Uh, this is only for the US and uh, Europe though. Um, these players will be invited to play in a closed environment under a uh, non-disclosure agreement. Um, after this, but before the launch, um, there will be, for those that have pre-ordered Battlefield 2042, early access to an open beta. Finally then, the game is set to release on uh, October the 22nd of this year, and uh, it will be going head-to-head -head, uh, with the new Call of Duty which is likely to be released in October or November as well. Um, we've also got to look forward to, on June the 13th, uh, a gameplay reveal, uh, which I think is probably more important than anything. So we'll uh, see how that one goes. That's it from me. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe if you have and make sure your post notifications are on. Uh, just remains for me to say, thanks for watching and overdosing on gas. I'll see you next time, or maybe even in-game.